Hey loves, what's up? It's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well and staying safe. Um, for today's video, I have this kind of foxy, sultry, sexy kind of eye going here for you guys. I have seen this all over Instagram and a lot of YouTubers are doing. I think it's inspired by Bella Hadid. I didn't follow a specific tutorial or anything, I just kind of took my own ideas and ran with it. But I have missed doing makeup so much here on my channel and I just thought it would be something cool, something different for you guys. If you guys like makeup videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. If you would like to join the fam, I would love to have you. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like makeup tutorials, I hope your beauty, fashion, lifestyle, hair, food, budget, all types of videos here on my channel so you will never be missing out on anything. I hope that you guys are doing well, like I said. And if you want to see how I achieved this kind of sexy, sultry date night when we can go back outside <laughs> look let's go ahead and get right into it <laughs> Okay guys, so we're getting started. So first things first, I'm going ahead in with these shadow shields. This is, I picked these up from Walmart, I believe. Um, it's nothing crazy. It's just um, to help the makeup get that kind of foxy, elongated look. Also, if you hear noise outside, it is because my windows are open. It is such a beautiful day. I just have to have my windows open. So if you hear noise, I apologize, but it's just too nice outside. So moving on i'm going in with this shade from the emily edit palette by makeup revolution it's just like a light brown transition shade you can use your bronzer honestly for this i was just being extra using this palette so i'm just going in with that and now i'm going in with the shade midwest from the same palette um like i said you do not need to use like all of these different browns like you can just use like a light brown and then a dark brown and be on your merry way but like I said, I wanted to do some makeup, so this is what we're doing. I'm using a Wet n Wild blending brush. I love these brushes. I picked mine up from the Dollar Tree. They're super inexpensive, but I know they also have them at Walmart. So now I'm going in with a deep chocolate brown from the Emily Edit palette, and it is in the shade Dews Paid. I love this chocolate shade. I think it looks so good on deeper skin tones as well as brown eyes. I think it just really makes the brown eyes like deep and kind of like sultry and sexy. Like this is like a major key. You have to find like your perfect brown in order to make this look work so this is what I'm doing and now I'm going in with this natural glam shade from the Patricia Bright palette um, I love this palette so so much I use it pretty much all the time it's like my favorite um, go-to palette this shade is perfect for um, a matte kind of smoky eye look because it looks like you cut your crease doesn't it like I did not cut my crease guys like this is just regular degular schmegular eyeshadow and it looks like I cut my crease and I did a lot more effort than I actually did which we love around here <laughs> so I'm just blending that on my eyelid and I feel like this really opens up the eyes and makes them look so much brighter and more awake and now here I am going in with that same Dews Paid shade and blending that, um, making sure there's no harsh edges or harsh lines where we put that natural glam shade because we don't want that around here, that's for sure. So we're going ahead and blending that and making sure that everything is nice and even on both sides. And now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow. Um, I'm doing this because I find that when I do liquid liner, it makes it look a lot more smoky and really sexy if I do eyeshadow first. So I also do this when I don't feel like doing liquid liner and I want to put on lashes. I find that doing this just makes the lash band look really thick and make the lashes look really like like they're just coming out of your eyeballs out of your eyelids if you will <laughs> so i'm just taking this on a flat shader brush kind of thing it's like one of those square ones um that is just really like packed so i'm just using a black eyeshadow and going along um my natural lash line and you guys can see this is so satisfying oh my god look at that 
amazing so you clearly see i was feeling it <laughs> so now i'm just going in with some mascara this is the maybelline the falsies lash lift i believe this isn't my favorite mascara i honestly have been wearing um lash extensions you guys so i haven't really been wearing that much mascara anyway but let me know your favorite mascara down below but look how crisp those edges are oh it looks so good so moving on to the face we're going in with the elf poreless putty primer i love this primer so much i definitely have to pick up the matte one now that it's getting warmer outside because i know that this is just going to look so good i because i love the original one so now i'm going in with this primer spray i am a primer spray fanatic i feel like it really really enhances your makeup and makes everything look so so good so i'm going in with that and once that is a little bit dry i'm going in with the makeup revolution stick foundation every time i use this foundation i wonder why i ever stop because it looks so so good so natural and it's like my perfect shade i believe this is shade f8 or f9 i believe and i'm just blending this in with like a little brush that the handle broke off of but i actually love it for foundation because i find that i can really blend it really nicely without a handle i don't know who knows honestly i'm crazy so i'm just blending that in but guys doesn't this foundation look so bomb like it looks like i don't even have foundation on like ugh, it looks so good so now i'm going in with the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer and just blending that in kind of haphazardly not really caring you know regular <laughs> so i'm just um donning that under my eyes and on my chin and blending that out with the same brush making sure to make everything nice and even and no harsh lines because we don't do that around here okay so i'm just blending that in with the same brush and now i'm going ahead and setting my face with the cody airspun loose powder i love this powder i'm not doing too much of a crazy setting um because i wanted this to be like a little bit more fresh and like easy going i didn't want to like bake my under eye bake my cheeks do the whole thing even though i probably should have because now it's getting hot in new york and i am an oil slick so you know now i'm going in with some bronzer this is the fenty matte bronzer in caramel cutie if you guys saw my sephora vib sale um video i definitely wanted to pick this up and i did and i am obsessed like look at that color but look at that color it is perfect so i just go ahead and do that on my cheeks my forehead and my jawline once i blend that all in i go ahead in with the wet n wild precious petals highlight i love this highlight this is like my go-to spring summer highlight i feel like it's just super brightening and it just makes your cheeks pop like it looks so good like look look at those cheekbones Ooh, yes so, I don't know why I went on to lips and didn't finish up my lower lash line or anything, but here we are. So, I'm going in with this Maybelline Raw Chocolate Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. It's like the perfect brown shade for me. I have been using this for like ever. And here I'm going in with the Morphe Matte Lipstick in the shade Main Squeeze. I love this as well for like a super dark brown um, lippy. Here I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Hydrating Matte um, Fixing Spray. I didn't get a picture of this, but I'll have everything linked down below for you guys, so don't you worry. Now we're going back into <laughs> the lower lash line. I'm going back in with that shade from the Emily Edit Palette in the shade Deuce Paid and just connecting it to the upper lash line so that everything is really like upwards and really cat eye and boxy and really cute and sexy. Everything that we want this look to be. So I'm just doing this on a pencil brush and I'm not going all the way in. I'm probably going about three quarters of the way into my um, eye. And here I'm using some liquid liner to do the fox kind of look. And this one is by Makeup Revolution. And I just extend my inner corner downwards just to make it look like the cat eye foxy look. Um, it does take a lot of practice. This is not perfect at all for me, but I did the best that I could and you guys can do the same. But that is it for this video, guys. Once you're done with the liners, the look is complete. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you like makeup tutorials, don't forget to leave me a comment down below with any requests that you guys have. I hope that you all are doing well and staying safe, and I will talk to you in my next one very soon. I love you, girls. Bye. Bye.